Your morning news now. La Crosse police are investigating a shooting that took place Wednesday night on the city's south side. Police were called to 1022 Fifth Avenue around midnight for a report of a person lying in the backyard bleeding. When officers arrived, they found a man with what appeared to be a gunshot wound. The victim was taken to a local hospital where he is currently being treated for life threatening injuries. No other people were injured. Investigators say they're receiving very little cooperation from those who were there at the time. Anyone with information is asked to call the La Crosse Police Department. Breaking overnight, a father and son accused of shooting an unarmed black man who was out on a jog are now in custody. 25 year old Ahmad Arbery was killed in late February just outside the city of Brunswick, Georgia, igniting racial tensions across the state. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation says Gregory McMichael and Travis McMichael say they thought Arbery was a burglary suspect and ordered him to stop. Gregory McMichael, a former law enforcement officer who also worked for the DA, said a Arbery violently attacked his son and the two fought over a shotgun before Travis shot Arbery two times. Well, a freeze warning is in effect for many of us this morning, but then another one come late tonight into Saturday morning as temperatures get even colder. Overnight, we'll see lows in the 20s. So uh, another night we're going to have to protect those sensitive plants and make sure not to uh, have that garden hose plugged in. They need some normalcy in their life and Willow Creek can offer that to the kids. Right now, nearly every state is reopening in phases. A small town in Montana reopened school yesterday, one of the first in the nation to welcome back students. Starting today in Texas, salons can start serving customers again. And in Rhode Island, the governor plans on letting the stay at home order expire tomorrow. But with states reopening at different speeds, health officials are concerned hospitals may be overwhelmed. Republican leaders in the Wisconsin legislature are looking to block the safer at home order, which runs until May 26. Then now the power is in the hands of the conservative controlled court. Depending on the ruling, communities may have to change the way they respond to the pandemic. La Crosse Mayor Tim Cabot says the decision could force La Crosse officials to implement their own rules. The Wisconsin Supreme Court's decision could come at any time. Here a latest look at the corona case, coronavirus case numbers in Wisconsin. More than 9,200 people have tested positive for COVID-19. 374 have died. In our area, there are 16 cases in Crawford County and a new case is being reported in Vernon County. Health officials say Vernon County's second and third cases are currently hospitalized. Expanded COVID-19 testing is coming to our area. Scenic Bluffs Health Center in Cashton is getting $212,000 from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. That money could also support the center purchasing more personal protective equipment. In Minnesota, there are now more than 9,300 infections and 508 people have died. 5,300 people in the state have recovered. A second case is now being reported in Houston County. In Iowa, more than 11,000 people have tested positive. 231 have died. There are 4,200 recoveries in the state. A new five point plan to protect long term care residents and workers is being rolled out in Minnesota. The plan expands testing and will continue routine testing of residents and staff that meet certain criteria. The plan also calls for additional personal protective equipment and more staffing support to facilities. State officials say the plan is a team effort to keep people safe. A local company is answering the La Crosse Police Department's call for personal protective gear. Staff from Edward Jones Investments is donating 10,000 PPE masks to the Law Enforcement Center of La Crosse County to help ensure our first responders are safe. The goal of the donation was simple, help those who help the community. We have clear skies this morning. It is a chilly start with temperatures in the 20s and 30s. We'll see mostly sunny skies throughout the day today, but it will be cool. Highs only topping out near 50 degrees, but that north wind gusting uh, 25 to 30 miles an hour. It's going to feel even colder. Now chilly overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. We do have that freeze warning in effect, and uh, we warm up into only the upper 50s tomorrow afternoon with increasing clouds and a few rain showers. Those rain showers will linger into Sunday for Mother's. Day. Thank you so much for sharing your morning with us. We hope all you moms have a great Sunday and we'll look forward to seeing you right back here on Monday morning.